Simple Cafe E, tutorials short and sweet. Okay, so you got the idea of plugging your Bluetooth speakers to your TV. Now, does your TV have any of the following ports? Either auxiliary slash headphones, RCA out or optical? If so, then you're all set. But say you have a Bluetooth speaker which doesn't have any of these ports. What are we gonna do? Well, unless your TV already has Bluetooth, then I wouldn't know what to tell you. What I can tell you is that there's actually a way to practically make your TV a Bluetooth equipped television. Here we go. So that sound that's in your TV, it needs to get over to your speakers. And currently, the only way it can do that now is via one of these cables, right? Okay, well, let's play along. We'll take any of these just to get the sound out of the TV and feed it into something that can transmit that sound through a Bluetooth signal so that it can make it over to your Bluetooth speaker. In this case, let's say we're going to use an aux cable. Alright, this end goes to the TV and the other end goes to a device that may look like one of these. Now before we go any further, don't confuse a Bluetooth transmitter with a Bluetooth receiver. I say this because you may accidentally pick up the wrong device. Especially because while you're shopping for a Bluetooth transmitter, you're more likely to find a Bluetooth receiver since those are more commonly used and they're going to have the opposite effect which is going to do you no good. See what those do are to make non-Bluetooth speakers into practically Bluetooth speakers. See this video over here if you want to learn more about those. So back to our connection then. I used the NOS cable in this example, but if you need to use RCA or optical, then you got to make sure that your transmitter, the one you end up choosing, has one of those options. This one here is the one that I ended up choosing because it has both optical and aux ports. If my TV only had an RCA audio out port, then I'd use an RCA to aux cable. But the biggest reason I chose this one was because it has both transmitting and receiving capabilities. What I mentioned less than a minute ago. Anyway, if I want to make a switch from one to the other, I would just slide this button here. So being able to do this will have me covered for whatever I'm trying to do, whether it's to get a device to send or get Bluetooth. It has other cool benefits which naturally are going to make it more expensive. So if you're looking for a more affordable solution, you can find a Bluetooth transmitter only. With the connection being made, the sound is here being cast out or transmitted to any Bluetooth speaker that can pick it up or receive it. Just make sure that your speaker is ready to pair to a new device and soon enough you'll be connected. On a final note, if you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones, you'll also be able to connect that way. I'm sure you can think of a reason why you may want to do that. Okay, well have fun and subscribe for more tips for your electronics. Toodaloo!